Well, inside your head are 20 bones that make up your skull. Two of them are in your jaw. There's the mandible, which is one of the strongest bones in your body, and the maxilla. They're linked together by a hinge, which allows you to open and close your mouth. And Rachel's hinge has become unhinged. Before Dr. Shrook can get to work, she needs Rachel's muscles to be relaxed. So Sister Tammy gives her a strong painkiller up her nose. Well, she can't exactly swallow it, can she? What I'm going to try and do is actually hold on to her jaw and push it back in there so it goes back into place. We'd best leave that painkiller to get to work then. We'll be back later to see how Dr. Shrook gets to grips with Rachel's jaw. <laughs> This is our lab, where we're going to push our own bodies to the limit to show you how your body works. Ah, that really hurt. Just don't try anything you see here at home. Today, it's the brain. Your body is an amazing machine, but it can't do anything without your brain. Now, your brain is what makes you, you. But it also tells the different parts of your body what to do. So if I want to move my fingers, I have to send an electrical signal from here to here. And that moves really fast. It goes at over 250 miles an hour. That's faster than a Formula One racing car. So we want to know more about where in the brain these signals come from. And in order to do that, we're going to use this multi-pulse transcranial magnetic stimulator. It's a big magnet. But it's a cool big magnet. It sends electromagnetic pulses to the brain, which interfere with the brain's own electrical signals. And that means we can use it to work out which bit of the brain does what. Let's give this brain scrambler a whirl. Now, Chris, what I want you to do first of all is reach up with your left hand and pick your nose. All right, perfect. Did it perfectly, that's lovely. Now I'm going to get you to do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to try and interfere with the brain scrambler. So Chris, when you're ready, pick your nose. Every time Chris's finger wiggles, that's the magnet or brain scrambler interfering with his brain signals, which means he can't pick his nose properly. You miss? <laughs> but the magnetic brain scrambler is also showing us which part of Chris's brain controls his left hand. 